Hey, before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that this review is part of a series of reviews of the 1999 LEGO Star Wars sets, and there is a playlist available where you can see all of them. So now on to this week's review. Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Sia Lego Boy here with 7101 Lightsaber Duel, the very first video in our 1999 uh, Lego Star Wars series. So, here we go. Uh, I, I kind of want to just go over instructions first. I love, absolutely love, this logo. For uh, Lego Star Wars Episode 1 sets, um, it's beautiful. Uh, and just like the uh, the original Lego Star Wars logo, there are characters in it that didn't show up uh, right away in 1999. In fact, uh, Sidious didn't technically show up until 2001. I want to say it was 2001. And, uh, well, Queen Amidala never showed up until 2012 and looks nothing like that figure. I actually love that it has, um... Hey, come on, refocus. I absolutely love that, uh, she has a yellow face. That would have made for a very, uh, interesting figure. I kind of wish that we had gotten one. Uh, but similar to, uh, the, the LEGO Star Wars logo for all the original trilogy sets. Like, in 1999, we got R2, Luke, Vader. And that's it. The other four didn't show up until 2000. And actually, the Stormtrooper didn't even show up until 2001, which is crazy. So anyway, uh, back to this set. Uh, it's a small little set. I have no idea what it retailed for because I'm stupid and didn't turn on my computer and double check that. I imagine it was probably $5.00. I want to say five dollars. I'm going to say five dollars could be ten. Um, and I have no idea how many pieces are in it either. I want to say about sixty. Uh, that that feels totally wrong. Um, there will be words telling you uh, how incorrect I am. So anyway, uh, minifigures uh, is basically a glorified minifigure pack uh, in a great way back in 1999 to get Qui-Gon Jinn and Darth Maul. And this is obviously based off of their desert fight on Tatooine. So here we got Qui-Gon Jinn, brown pants, simple uh, Jedi robes, cape, which is actually in pretty decent condition, actually. <laughs> it's in better condition than most of my capes that are that old. Obviously no back printing, because there does not need to be any. He's wearing his cape. Which is supposed to be his cloak, but you know. Um, I love uh, his hair. His hair's great. Um, never got any other color of it. Um, I know that they did eventually come out with the reddish brown version and subsequent Sith infiltrators, and there's a black one for uh, what's his name in Lake Town. I guess Bard. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, chrome lightsaber hilt. Yeah, how about that? Super cool, and the transparent, or translucent, uh, neon green lightsaber. Comparing it to uh, what we see up here on the instructions, his hair is way more detailed. It looked like they were going to be going more for that uh, that modeled effect that you get with um, the old original brown hair. That's dusty. Whew. And when you look at the lightsabers, um, it's different. I think that this lightsaber design was originally based off of kind of a combination between Obi-Wan uh, and Luke's green lightsaber. At least that, that was the design for that hilt, and uh, this was obviously a prototype. Um, and you find that a lot with the 1999 sets is that you get some prototype versions of the the minifigures and like part designs and stuff like that. Our other figure is Darth Maul, who looks fantastic. 
Because he's Darth Maul. Uh, no printing on the back, because it doesn't need to be. Black robes, you know, pretty simple. Um, his head is my favorite of the Darth Maul heads. His eyes are a little smaller. Um, I think these eyes are a little misprinted, not entirely sure. But uh, his eyes are smaller than uh, current versions of his eyes, and he's got a less cartoony look to him. He still fits that minifigure uh, design, at least of the time. Um, but I just, I can't really get behind the uh, the current versions of Darth Maul. And again, I know, I, I, I have a current version of Darth Maul, but it's in the other room. Uh, oh well. Here is his uh, speeder bike. I don't know the exact specifications on it, but here it is. Uh, you do not get a clear brick. The clear brick is purely there so that I can have it hover. So ignore the clear brick does not exist in the set and for years I mean like pretty much a decade well over a decade almost two decades because I didn't really start collecting uh, Lego Star Wars until like 2001 uh, didn't start really taking it seriously until about then uh, this this wedge I'd originally had it like this the whole time and it makes it easier for his cape but it is not uh, technically correct and I had that for both this set and the Sith Infiltrator built incorrectly for so long just so long so now we can have them go back to clashing Er. And finally, we have this moisture evaporator. Um, yeah, this is a moisture evaporator. It does not look like a moisture evaporator. And uh, I don't know if there are different designs of them. I guess there are. But wow, this doesn't look anything like a moisture evaporator. It doesn't look bad as a thing in the desert, um, in my mind. Like, I'm actually quite okay with it looking weird. Some weird version of a moisture evaporator. Uh, it doesn't not look like something that could exist in Star Wars, but I mean, I don't know, man. It's 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 super weird. It's weird. Weird, weird, weird. Such a weird thing, cause it's like it's not round and it's not overly tall. Not like what you get in the Tuscan Raider guy. Uh, that set, and it, not in any other version of a a moisture evaporator since. Um, and you've got a round brick in there, so I don't see why it couldn't have been round the whole time, except for where, like, parts clip in. I don't know. But yeah, it, it, it's the little thing that, like, makes it an actual set. You can't just have this. Although I suppose you could have. I mean, that's what's heavily advertised here. But, you know. And, uh... Yeah, so, got the back... Look at them. They've actually patched their differences. They're building the set together. And uh, you could also make this if you wanted. There's no instructions for that. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta try and use your imagination. Not a bad thing. But this has been uh, 7101 Lightsaber Duel. Up next at least in the playlist, is 7110 Land Speeder. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to redo that review because I, re I uh, did a review of it back on May 25th of 2017 to celebrate 40 years of Star Wars. But, you know, I, I also not entirely sure if I, I like that review. I might make this the next review as like a redo. If not... Uh, and, and we do just go with the pre-existing video. Uh, the next review will be 7111 Droid Fighter. So this has been MC Lego Boy with 7101 Lightsaber Duel. Stick around for these 1999 Lego Star Wars set reviews. See you guys.